Cutting is hard with one hand, but you get the idea. Straps, both ends, and then you have the three layers right here. It's the outer layer. It's supposed to block liquids. The inner layer absorbs liquids. And then this layer is also polypropylene and it tries to be hydrophobic as well, kind of block liquids. And they also try to create kind of like a static electric mesh to kind of grab particles. But what we care about is we want to get this part and this part, the outer sides, out and get this uh, middle stuff completely out because that ruins our plastic. Another way you could do it is just take the scissors and cut out the whole square so then these parts come apart really easy. Then we just have all three layers. These two, good for melting. This, not as good for melting because it ends up brittle. So this is a pile of those inner layers. These are those middle filters. As you can see, the middle filters are the ones that really get all the grime and gross stuff. And these are those outer filters that makes everyone's lower face nice and blue. Middle filters turn in to this kind of clear, kind of cellulose looking stuff, but it's very brittle. And so the problem is you can't just melt down all three of the things together because that brittleness infects it. So this is a pile uh, where I just took the mass straight up and just melted them and they end up very brittle. It's like a very brittle plastic. So if you take out the filters and melt them, they end up clear, but brittle, but yeah, it's kind of a neat material. But if you take out this side and this side, you get like a decent polypropylene. So this is that solid blue outer layer. It's really melted down to a really nice pliable piece of plastic. We can laser cut, we can machine, we can do whatever we want with. Really nice and thin and kind of regular. For melting the plastic, the main thing you need is some kind of skillet. I'm just using this nice little electric skillet. It's just kind of dedicated for melting plastic. I have parchment paper. This is special paper. Uh, people use it for baking, but plastic won't stick to it. And then weights, something to help squish that plastic down. And then some kind of flat uh, thing that can withstand some heat. I'm just using a flat piece of, I think, birch plywood. To take those, we're gonna put a first layer of parchment paper down. I like to put on a second layer just to help give a little extra protection. Then we're going to take our plastic polypropylene face masks on each side and then put on a top layer of the parchment paper before we then put on the squishing bit Help keep it nice and flat or else it likes to kind of curl up. Then we pop the weights on and then just turn it on, let it cook. This is what they look like if you're melting them from above without being squished. They turn into little puddles of plastic. You can kind of play with it. It's hot though. <laughs> So, you know, watch out. Um, I think most of that brown stuff over in that one is mostly actually from the wood I was using earlier to squish it. But yeah, there you can see the outer mass melting down there.
After about five minutes, we can use a glove because it's gonna be hot. Take this off. All of our plastic there is gonna be smushed really thin. So if we actually look, it's all like just barely there. We wanna keep it like this and nice and flat and just squished up for a little bit until it cools. As it cools, you can hear it actually like shrinking up and curling. We wanna keep it a little flat while it does that. So I put it between two cold pieces of wood and just try to keep it nice and flat while it cools down. When you first melt it, you can peel them apart. Let's see what we got. So it tends to be around the edges. It kind of flays out and then it gets a little nice and thicker in the middle. So you get this weird thin pancake. nice and flexible and pliable but it's still pretty thin so I'm not sure if there's much you can do with something this thin so what I usually do is I'll probably fold it over once or twice um, maybe stack up the blue one and the clear one or you just keep them separate and uh, it looks like this paper got a little too baked um, so maybe I need to turn down the heat a little bit or something uh, but this came out okay and yeah, so I'll make this into a little bit thicker of a thing that I can laser cut and then we should be set. Have a nice, good, solid piece of material. So now that we have a nice plastic blank made from about 10 to 14 masks, um, we can use our laser cutter design and really cut anything pretty decently well. So right now I'm gonna make an ear saver out of the old masks just to you know have a kind of fun project you're making tools for the masks from old masks you just find in the garbage new ear saver made from discarded masks. You can see this was too thin of plastic to laser cut and just started melting and not really doing anything. The plastic was thicker over here, and so this worked okay. But I would say definitely err on the side of thicker plastic using more of the masks than thinner. In theory, these masks are supposed to be made out of polypropylene, which a lot of uh, common lids of things, number five, if you look at it in recycling things, polypropylene, um, are also made out of this thermoplastic called polypropylene. So we should actually be able to mix uh, these and melt them down if we need to help uh, just incorporate to make even more big plastic blanks. So anything we can melt with polypropylene, we should be able to melt with these masks and just help them kind of melt all together, maybe fill in some of those gaps and just add more plastic fodder to what we're doing here. So you can see they melted down melted right in with the face mask. That all seemed good. In most places the face mask you don't even really see them anymore. I'll probably fold this in half and just get 
uh, a little more smoothly melted, but we can use all of this. You can see this side didn't get melted at all. But we can use all this in a laser cutter or build and make whatever kind of other things we need. Have a nice thin sheet. Perfect! Oh, it's like napalm. 